Mass here from the Nintendo Switch Guru. This week's Nintendo Switch news. This is pre free, and I'm going to start with a bunch of games that are coming soon for the Switch. First is Iron Me, that's coming this July. You've got Sonic Mania, that's now been dated for August, so that's uh, going to be pretty decent. Then we've got Pokemon uh, DX, that was announced yesterday in a Pokemon Direct. That's the deluxe version of Pokemon on the Wii U. It's coming this September, it's going to be compatible with the Pokemon controller, that was uh, Wii U, it's similar to the arcade version, it's going to have extra characters, unlike the Wii U version, so that's pretty decent. You've got Soldom, Drop, Connect and Erase, that's coming this um, fall to the west, and it will be getting a physical version as a puzzle game. Then you've got a 3D platform called Poi, that is currently I think on Steam, so you can check out trailers or whatever reviews, uh, possibly for that. That's a 3D platform that's coming at some point this year. They're actually uh, they, that's this year, but now moving into 2018. You got Invisible, that is a RPG that was on Indiegogo. I actually have played this. I've played a beta on PS4. It was fairly interesting, reminding me a bit of uh, Dust on Xbox Live and that, but with a real-time combat and no, with a turn-based combat system. So that's pretty cool, and then we've got Lost Sphere, that's from Tokyo RPG Factory, that's one of Square Enix's um, teams, they did I Am Setsuna, um, this is coming to the Switch early next year, um, it's going to have a physical release in the West, unlike I Am Setsuna, but it's going to be a Square Enix store exclusive, um, so yeah, it looks, that's pretty decent, it might be a um, quite hard one to get in the future, that's games announcements. I'm going to move into a few other bits of news. Fire Emblem Warriors, we've got some new details on that. Uh, Fights of um, Mitsu, they've got these two new characters. I believe, obviously, I can't read Japanese, but what I'm hearing is the story's going to be around them and they're going to meet up with all like, the classic Fire Emblem characters. And Marth has been announced as one of the classic characters. So we've got no Marth in it, and we know Crom's in it due to the original trailer. That game is coming some point this year. But I'm really looking forward to that one myself. Next one is NBA Playgrounds. Um, do you see the pictures actually for Shaq Fu and um, Shaq Fu Legend Reborn? It's going to be free for people that bought NBA Playgrounds on the Switch before the online update. It's basically to say um, thanks for waiting. Sorry, you know, it's taking so long to get online and stuff sorted for the Switch version from Saber Interactive. But that is a thing that's uh, coming. So yeah, that's interesting. Next, keeping on sports, FIFA 18. Just been a new trailer showing Ronaldo as the cover as star of the game. It's coming, I think, in September. I want to say September 29th. Um, few details on the trailer. At the end of the trailer, it's saying there's this thing about the Xbox One and PS4 version, and it seems like the Switch version will not be running in the Frostbite engine. It'll be using the Ignite engine, and it won't have the Journey man mode, and it unlikely it will have Ultimate Team. I don't know what you guys feel about that it seems like it's going to be very similar to the ps3 and 360 versions which is the legacy versions of the uh, game so that's that platinum uh, games have been talking about the switch and they have switch title in the works no word of what it is we may see a uh, free e3 but it's unlikely due to e3 being focusing on games of 2017 and i'd be shocked if a platinum games comes out this year for the Switch. And the last bit of note is Nintendo's online service. It's now been delayed until 2018, so all this year will be free to play online on the Switch, which is really good. Um, the apps aren't out or anything yet because it's supposed to be a free version. So, yeah, so that's now been delayed to next year, and it will be £20, Euros, or Dollars for here. You can pay either monthly or free monthly as well. So, it's really, yeah, really good, really um, good price if you compare it to Xbox Live and PlayStation Plus. And also they've changed how the free games will work. Originally it was going to be timed for like a rental service for a month. So as soon as the month um, was up, they gave, you know, you basically gave the games back and you can you'd have to buy them. But now it's going to be like PlayStation Plus, it seems. You will get games a month. It seems at the moment it's going to be NES games with suits, NES games considered. And the confirmed games that possibly at some point now. I want to say it's Super Mario Bros. 3. Balloon fight and oh, I can't remember what the third one is, but but anyway, there's a but some more NES games confirmed. They're gonna have online play as well. So NES games are gonna be considered, and it looks like we're gonna get games a month, and you're gonna be able to keep them and play them as long as you like, as long as you've got subscriptions. So, racing with the PlayStation Plus, I've got games from 
three years ago on my P uh, PS, uh, PS4 that I can still play because I'm still subbing to Plus. It's going to be the same situation here. So we're going to have classic Nintendo games. So it's 20 quid a month. I feel I personally feel it's worth, worth it just for the uh, NES games. You look at how much they are on the Wii U and for the S Virtual Console. You know you're going to be saving a lot. It's just depending if you want to play the games and what the online aspect is. Is it actually going to be proper multiplayer? Or is it going to be like Dan League, um, not League, a leaderboards and stuff like that? But anyway, interesting news. This is all pre free, and more news is trickling out every every day up leading into E3 with um, rumors and leaks and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, we'll be covering all that after E3, which is basically this weekend. Um, so thanks for watching. I'll see you again.